say check one two this is woodsuck here i'm just doing a new thing with some walkie talkies just checking it out trying something a little different change is good sometimes our generic chicago electric nothing against dremel but then i got this it's a charred uh, pine knot and it was heavily burned on this side so i'm gonna i ground it off a little bit so here's the profile down here it's gonna be a beard popping out like curling out at the bottom face here hey welcome to woodside uh i mostly do uh power carving and uh, various uh, characters, mostly human faces. So if you, uh, you're new to the channel, that's what it's all about. So um, hope you enjoy the videos. I got over about 200 now, mostly uh, entirely about carving or carving related somewhat. And then I got um, Usually smaller scale videos are not very long, so if you want to check them out, there I got some playlists like the pine knots and the cottonwood bark stuff, so you can go through the whole library. But anyway, um, working on this pine knot that was a uh, partially scorched, as I mentioned before, so I'm going to mount it on the burn side so I scraped off all the carbon and uh, charred parts so uh, it's really hard to get rid of once you burn something like that I tried to take a wire brush to it and it's like still pretty much on there so I left as some of the darker areas on there and then I'm going to drill a hole and then sign my name on the back which uh, everyone should do just to identify their artwork in case someone comes around and say, who the heck made this? And I got the year on there. So that being said, uh, starting off with the generic uh, rotary tool as well. And uh, usually use the uh, spherical burrs when I'm doing the rough out because I don't want to introduce any stark uh, delineations or crevices right now I'm just concerned about getting the basic shapes down and I start off with the eyes of course yeah the thing I like about pine knots is they're pretty much everywhere in the Pacific Northwest if you're walking through a conifer forest with a bunch of uh, spruce trees, firs, and pine trees. You're always going to find knots. And pine knots are not the only knots. I'm, as I said, there's a firs that have the similar kind of uh, knot structure. And they're all pretty much the same thing. They're pretty dense and resinous. So, and it's like uh, free material, so you don't have to pay for it, just so your time that's involved in hiking through the forest. And uh, I recommend bringing a backpack or a rucksack so you can toss your bits in there when you're walking around. Plus, you get some decent exercise as well. So, there's a lot of benefits to that. Yeah, I use two different kinds of rotary tools. I use the basic uh, Dremel style rotary in the start. And then at the end, I'm going to move over to the Stylo Plus. It's a more of a light duty rotary tool, but it's uh, perfect for details. And uh, the only downside to the 
Stylo Plus, as I've said before, it's got a low torque, so if you really gouge into the wood, it's going to stop the motor. It's a safety feature, and then you have to restart it all the time with this on-off button, which uh, can be kind of a annoying at times, but if once you get it used to the tool, you'll know how to work it without coming across that too much. Also, I just wanted to mention that I'm going to be doing a giveaway once I reach 2,000 subscribers. So, um, giving away, um, like a low relief style, um, carving, it's going to be based on a black vulture profile, like looking down on top of it. And, uh, from above and it's got its wings outspread. I'll show you a picture here. So that's what it's gonna look like. It's only like about eight inches by five inches, somewhere along that line. But uh, it'll be available to any subscriber and it's going to anywhere in the world, whoever wins the contest. So the basic premise of the contest is I'm going to put a video up and I'm going to ask people like a certain question so you leave a comment and whoever leaves a comment will be eligible when I do a random pick on the comments and it'll be announced uh, probably a week later after the contest so I give enough time to people put up some comments and uh in the past I've done these before so um I got a playlist too with all the contests of the past if you want to check them out but I've given away things in the past like tools and blank pine knots and cottonwood bark and stuff that stuff like that and then I did give away some custom scribes at one point, and uh, those are fun. Handmade tools and stuff like that. So, in the future, we'll see how it goes. I'm kind of slowing down on the contest because I'm kind of far away from a post office, about 25 miles out in the sticks. So, there you go. So it looks like we're reaching the end here. So uh, appreciate y'all for uh, watching the video and getting this far. Um, means a lot to me, of course, and it means a lot to the YouTube uh, algorithm. Like I'm really concerned about that, but not really. I'm just here to make videos and help people out as much as I can. Sometimes I don't know if I do enough, but uh, anyway, thanks again and take care.